friends my topic is using the power of books to change the world let us start with the quiz which of these books is the most popular raise your hand if you like the book charlie and the chocolate factory raise your hand if you like charlie and the chocolate factory the magic tree house series the magic faraway tree series and finally the harry potter series the answer is all of these all of these books are popular and well known let us also consider some key quotes the goal is to live forever the goal is to create something that will everything is possible the impossible just takes longer the secret of success is that there is no secret do you want to know who said that it was kungfu panda a human child takes a lot many years to be on its own probably the longest the other part of the living kingdom does not take as long as that and yet we humans rule the earth this is because we humans learn and adapt we learn from experiences and knowledge knowledge is attained in various forms in fact our school's motto is knowledge is strength supreme despite being the most important on earth we run into many problems like poverty environmental issues and illnesses to name a few it is also so amazing to know that a number of these problems can be solved if knowledge is applied correctly and intelligently i have learned from books that you can bloom like a blooming flower with everybody taking the sweet nectar from it see how sweet i am see how sweet i am how many of you have seen a mouse being a detective or a wizard chanting spells you can imagine all this only through books we can bridge the divide between most problems and lack of knowledge my idea is simple provide relevant knowledge to people through books repeated reading will have effect on people and on their behavior books can help to bring change and solve problems Let us learn about how books have helped people. Prisoners, Italy is offering reduced sentences in exchange of reading since 2012 because books help them to understand morals and also help them to grow. Gandhi ji's learnings are used in Mumbai Central Jail to inspire prisoners. Depression, reading can cure mental sicknesses. Many Libraries were also described as the healing places for the soul in Greece, and World War II soldiers read while recovering. Sleeping sicknesses. Many sleep experts recommend reading before going to sleep, as it will help to calm your mind. My idea. Let us focus on few good examples from good books. Mahatma Gandhi's autobiography, The Greatness of a Man, is realized. when his life influences people to change for the better such is the mahatma's life that even the kids after his death on reading his autobiography people drastically change their way of living with focus on truth non violence and unity in diversity how can we not talk about the harry potter series it is our choices harry that show us what we truly are far more than our abilities It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. We've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the path we choose to act on. That's who we really are. And finally, our ex-president, APJ Abdul Kalam, quotes: "Let us sacrifice today so that our children can have a better tomorrow." If four things are followed. having a great aim acquiring knowledge hard work and persistence then anything can be achieved think about the power and impact it can have on people if it is passed on through books many people think that reading books is a big waste of time but if you make an effort to read at least a book a day then you can open a very secret door which not many people can open the secret door has a whole new world full of ideas and comedy the people have opened the secret door can make things fly with wingardium leviosa and can also make spells from teddy and kathy's book of magic rhymes 
they can also experience a tree which can transport them to lands but they can never dream of. Together, they can transport, transform the world with knowledge and with more. See, I used to read since my childhood. Yes, that is my photo. Thank you.